Hello friends and family, YouTubers from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on March 27th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Checking out here first, last 48 hours of images on our sun as we have five active sunspot regions to look at right now as well, two coronal holes and still some plasma filaments dancing around the surface all around the sun. Look at the last 48 hours incoming, cresting imagery, not showing any new sunspots coming around just yet, but there is quite a bit of activity and as well plasma flying around there and a couple bright regions just starting to form up. Looking at the last 48 hours, outgoing large plasma filament on the left hand side you see that dark line on the upper disc left hand side there looking at multi-spectrum this is where we can see our coronal holes as there is that large one that just passed us and affected us overnight bringing up our solar winds to over 600 kilometers per second right there and as well we've got another one building here equatorial region getting ready for an earth facing event so as forecasted here, we were expecting those coronal hole wind streams to increase, and they did, almost doubling the solar wind speeds. Looking at another light here, active sunspot regions being pointed out. As well, you can look at the heliosphere, the surface all around the sun, able to really see the magnetic field at work on our star. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Let's have a look here at the space weather conditions as they are low. No space weather conditions to talk about. Looking at the solar X-ray flux, we saw a few C-class solar flares still in a C range. Geomagnetic activity slightly bumped up to a KP1. Looking at a real-time solar wind now, we're at 360 kilometers per second after being up over 670 yesterday. But something happened here. I mean, the density bunches were up to 24 and just dropped right off to almost nothing. Same with the solar winds from 664 to almost 400. Looking at our geospace magnetosphere cut planes, for, this is our pressure. We were looking at this map yesterday. It looked quite different when we were showing the solar winds pounding our magnetosphere. Having a look here at the solar winds in action. As you can see, we're getting a lot of energy from the back side of our planet right now. ISPWA Space Prediction Spiral showing most latest CME taking off towards Parker Solar Probe. We're expecting some space weather here towards the end of the month, 30th into the 31st. Looking at LASCO 3, showing the last 48 hours of energy taking off from our sun and not much has been thwarted our way. One in the outgoing position, and as well just today, a couple C-class minor solar flares. Schumann resonance for today is a low power of 10. Quick look at the telemetry here. Quality of 11.2, frequency of 8.12 power of 13. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as it's been pretty quiet but we did have a pretty concerning earthquake that happened in Tonga region. We'll get to that in just a moment. We're going to start out here in North America as we were watching and expecting some activity up into the Cascades towards Juan de Fuca. So a couple minor earthquakes there. Mexico Bandon, Oregon saw 4.0 magnitude today as well. Hawaii, Nahayu, Hawaii, a 4.1 magnitude earthquake well off the coast, off the southeast rift, rift there is a seamount right there. Having a look at USGS, exactly where these earthquakes are occurring. And that's just southeast of that large seamount. USGS reporting 206 earthquakes across the world very low. Carrying on here with our globe, 4.5 there, Adak, Alaska, 
as well at 4.2 and Nikolskoy 204 kilometer depth though waiting for some more volcanic activity through the region Rizzo Village in Guam Mariana's Trench 4.8 as well at 4.6 here Papua New Guinea right close to the Uluwan volcano which just awakened today Lavuka Fiji seeing a 5.5 pretty deep 440 earth uh, kilometer depth as well deepest earthquake today 630 kilometer depth Fiji region 4.5 as well 4.6 there reported New Zealand so we can expect a larger shallower earthquake to come especially 630 kilometer depth earthquakes continuing on in Turkey and as well a pretty rare earthquake here Lake Edward region Africa the Congo region 4.9 magnitude looking over South America most recent 4.7 there South Chile rise as well northward to Peru with the 4.3 expecting some activity through the central regions of America and up into Mexico looking at a 4.3 there in Colombia reported yesterday as well a 4.4 there El Salvador and a 4.5 4.3 Guatemala Santa Maria volcano was very active today amongst the 47 that are active and erupting across the planet now including Uluwan that is 48. This is a quick glance at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world as things have really quieted down over the past 48 hours expecting something to give especially now that all that pressure is off of our planet from the coronal hole wind streams. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world, as well as sharing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. We had some pretty wild weather across southeastern and Gulf states. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody there. We got the Uluwan volcano, Papua New Guinea, which was put on to orange level alert today as it erupted. As well, we've got Santa Maria in Guatemala, Semeru in Indonesia, Sabancaya in Peru, Fuego in Guatemala, Popo in Mexico, Krakatoa, Indonesia. Yet again, that's been off and on the last couple of months. Era in Japan, Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Cotopaxi in Ecuador, Shivalich in Russia, as well, Luatolo in Indonesia. So that's about 13 volcanoes getting updated today, all in the last 15 hours. Having a look here at satellite imagery, this is where we saw most of that severe weather across Alabama and eastward through Georgia and up into the Carolinas. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, Southeast Asia. Pretty vigorous system heading up into Kamchatka right now, set to bring blizzard-like conditions as well a tightly whipped low pressure system scooting down the west coast of the United States right now set to bring in some wind and moisture overlooking the rest of the world Europe Africa very large low pressure system in the North Atlantic forecasted here still raging northward and bringing in waves of moisture all across Europe Having a look at the windy forecast model, showing the low pressure systems there, as that does not break down until Wednesday into Thursday. Iceland's gonna start to see some really strong winds and then all of these systems are gonna start pouring into the United Kingdom. At the same time, we've got a large low scooting across North America and watch for that to quickly scoot northward. Just some interesting trajectories and forecast models here. Things have really changed over the last few years. Let's have a look at the precipitation models and forecast for the next few days. Low pressure system off the west coast, as well as severe weather through the Gulf states to continue here. Got an Alberta clipper scooting into Ontario for Wednesday, set to bring some snow as the cold front will be slipping in behind that, as most of the prairies are still below seasonal and seeing lots of snow carrying on here large system building for friday into saturday ontario 
possible thunderstorm conditions, and then very windy and snowy conditions for the Atlantic provinces as that continues eastward and then long range forecast, just watch for things to really heat up across the United States for extreme weather. Overlooking the South America and Africa, daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times, uh, Wednesday into Thursday for both continents. As well, pretty interesting system there developing for about a day or so next Monday through parts of northern Argentina and Chile. Overlooking Europe, Southeast Asia. Lots of moisture coming in from that huge low pressure system in the North Atlantic all week for Europe. Not going to be clearing out until next Monday or Tuesday until finally a low pressure system moves eastward out of the Mediterranean. Overlooking Australia, Micronesia and up into the West Pacific. Low pressure system will be making landfall Western Australia and watch for it to linger around the continent for about four days. Going to be bringing waves of moisture northward and as well spilling them out southeastward. As well, we've got stormy conditions that will be brewing just north of Hawaii. Watch for high surf and rains from the west coast. Much love, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.